This is how you get a copper strike off your channel. Let's go. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to uh, your icon, which is right over here. When you go to the main YouTube.com uh, section, you want to click that. It'll bring a drop down arrow to uh, YouTube Studio. It'll say YouTube Studio on it. You click it. If you have a copyright strike, copyright strike, say if you did a live stream and you got music playing, you can uh, go to this tab, which we will speak on uh, later in this video. Uh, I'll show you how to get rid of that. Um, now we're just going to work on the videos. It's basically the same thing with both. Um, you can do this two ways. You can go over here to filter and click on this, which will give you a copyright claim uh, thing right there. Or you can drop down like this and go over here to copyright, which will bring up this menu right here which is an easy easier solution but right now we're just going to focus on so you can basically do it in, you can basically do it in those kind of ways so right now uh sorry about the focus show i'm doing this on my cell phone it's probably not going to be the best quality so i apologize um then i'm going to go to copyright claims on videos part so videos this was a test video i did um shout out to brennan i think that's how you say his name he's one of my youtube friends that's on here um so you're gonna want to hover over that and you want to click on uh hold up so you want to hover over this just hover over it don't click it see details make sure this stuff is private or you're going to get flagged out you like just during it flag so you're gonna you're gonna want to see this screen. So non uh, non affected, obviously, it shows you if you're affected or not. It shows the visibility. Um, sorry about the you know the screen because it's not really zoomed in or whatever. Um, so right here where my mouse is, uh, cursor is, you're gonna see content used. Basically, the song that's in the video that's copyrighted or the live stream is copyrighted. Uh, the impact on the video, which basically it will show, it will tell you what the impact is. Right now, I have none, so this is like a test video, basically. Uh, go over to the three dots that are right here. You could either dispute it, um, which that's if you have like a lawsuit or whatever. I think I'll have to double check on that. I'm sorry if I get that wrong, y'all. Um, and uh, you could you could either do mute song or replace song. Basically, when you get the replace song. You can replace it. YouTube has uh, a couple, actually more than a couple of songs that you can replace your music with. Then you can go through here and mute your mute the actual song. You can uh, then put the song that you have while you're here onto here. So it would basically not uh, if you mute this song, it will basically just take this song out and put the other one on here which is right here i have done this in a couple of uh previous uh videos that i've done and live streams right now we're just going to focus on getting this off of your channel now which will um help you in the long run now we did the replace song now we've got to go over to mute song which will mute basically the song henceforth mute song um so basically if you want to mute all sounds and song plays so um what that means is uh basically like if you're you're making a video and you have a copyright song while you're talking or whatever or while you're playing the video game or whatever and you upload it to your channel and it gets flagged you go over here and you say mute all songs well if you if you mute or mute all sounds well if you mute all your sounds if you're talking over the video that you're playing music on, it will mute your talking. It will literally mute the entire video and just play the video without any sound. It's like a silent movie type stuff. Um, and then if you go over here to mute song only, it will mute only the song. So let's say if you're live streaming uh, 2K or Fortnite, and there's a song that pops up on your video or your, or your live stream that you're doing, um, you go over here and it mutes the song only. It doesn't mute the talking, doesn't mute your voice. I've done, I've actually done this on a 2K live stream that I did when I could live stream to YouTube and Twitter at the same time. And this, this, this one actually did help because it muted, uh, it muted the song, not my, not the voice that, um, you all hear in that live stream that I did. Um, so it, basically you can do that or you can do that depending on what you want to do and then you're going to go over once you choose you want to hit continue the old song when sound plays blah blah, blah you know um you want to hit okay or whatever and then it will 
uh, rendered that video basically as you see on um, its processing. Um, once it gets some processing, I will come back to you all. Alright, as you guys can see, the copyright strike is done. Once it's done, you can go over to here. You can either uh, put it on private still, un un unlisted, which um, basically only one, the only people that, that you can send a link to get the video and that's it. You can put it on public so you can automatically upload it. Or you can schedule it, so you can schedule it as far as like, um, for example, like 2030 or something at least. Um, I hope that video helps you guys out. Um, so yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. See y'all in the next one. I hope that it works out for y'all. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share the channel. Plus in 2K and I'm out. Peace.